Hello, bidgets. My name is Fishbowl, and welcome to the new setup. Yes, in a few weeks, you should be getting a video that is talking about me moving into my new house. Frederick's art camp had to get an upgrade, obviously. You know, we couldn't just keep breaking our backs all the time and filming on the floor. So, my friend's birthday was more than a month ago, and I procrastinated on this present enough. For those of you who've seen past painting videos I've made, you know that I did create a Christmas present and this is the same person. Maya really likes dogs and I really like galaxies. How about I just paint some dog silhouettes with, you know, stars inside of them. I don't know, I'll figure it out along the way. This is probably not an original idea so I'm not taking credit for it, but, oh wait, hold on. What was I thinking? We have to get into my painting mode. Oh god, it's happening again. I probably didn't put on the beret right, but we're just gonna get started. It's fine. If you couldn't tell, I do have an obsession with sunflowers. Even to the point where I bought whatever this is. It could easily be for food. I'm choosing to use it as paint today. This is just on my lap, you know, right next to my favorite sweater that is very pale and could easily be ruined any second. <laughs> We're gonna do it anyways. I also brought back this from Scobert's video because I was thinking, Frederick, why are you trying to break your back? How about you use your brain for once? Yeah, that's more like it. So now you know how big this tapestry actually is. Uh, oh. Okay. So now we open this up. Fuck. This should not take too long because I'm working with such a small canvas. Honey, you've got a big storm coming. I just wanted to be cute and petite like the dogs I'm about to draw on it. So, so my plan going about this is to, is to first, is to just, I'm going to trace out some dogs on here. A yellow chair, by the way. So a lot of you guys complained about how you couldn't see what was going on. But look at me now, like, isn't this so actually professional looking? Frederick's art camp is upgrading. Okay, so I just have some silhouettes on my phone of some dogs that she likes. I'm gonna choose three, so it's gonna go like one, two, three. So let's just get to tracing. Now, I have never been good at proportions. I'm going to try my very best though. I, I, I've been practicing. First, we gotta give this dog a nice butt. See that, look at that butt. This is a wiener dog, by the way. And do this little nose right here. Kinda looks like a fish, but it will fix it. Yeah, that's looking like a dolphin. Honestly, I'm just gonna paint over it and see how it looks, and if we need to make some adjustments, then we shall. All right, so we're painting the ear now. Yeah, okay, something is definitely wrong here. Something is most definitely wrong here. Something is... What did I do wrong? Let me get my eraser. Okay, let's do the easy part. So legs just have to magically happen around here. Yeah, that looks much better. Okay, I see what I did wrong. Okay, I can vibe with this. Wiener dog, done. Next, we're gonna do this baby golden retriever and also slightly panic a little bit because this seems much harder. Why does it look wrong? I feel like the most little detail in a silhouette makes or breaks it. Like I just added a bump there and now it finally has a nose. Something about this leg looks wrong, but that's how it looks like in the picture, so I'm not gonna complain. I'm gonna extend it up to there. That's too much. Oh God, what was I thinking? These are our sketches. Lastly, the pug. So basic shape, I see a banana. I'm just gonna do that. And this pug is definitely a model. I mean, look at that butt. Yo, what the fuck this dog's legs doing though? It's like curving around and it just shoots out this way somehow, but it's also very skinny. Some fine tuning is all I need to do. All right, I think I'm ready to start the painting part of this portion. So I'm gonna get my painting plate. Today we are using lamp black. Also, you can't see, but I do have a yellow cup full of my paintbrushes. Oh yeah, that's definitely black. This has to be spot on the first time. Okay, I wanna be really honest with you. This paint was a little bit chunky, so I watered it down. Not with traditional water, you can say, but like a natural alternative. Okay, 
this may be more comfortable now because I'm not breaking my back or you know you can actually see what's going on but I am so used to holding it usually and doing this is a change I'm also very scared of getting black on this right now yo this tail is not working with me right now okay I need to bring it close to me I'm sorry Is it the most perfect tail? Not really, but I can live with it. I want to focus on the head of this. So, oh. Alright, so we're also unintentionally making the head bigger each time I'm painting. Oh, it's gonna get a misshapen head. Why didn't I outline this? Should I have done that? You know what? You know what? No. Frederick, use your brain. Let this dry for a second. Outline this with a paint pen. And then you paint over it. Yeah. I'm gonna do that. Give me a second. A few minutes later. Okay, listen. I was on Instagram for about five whole minutes until I was thinking, Frederick, you have two other dogs to outline. Why are you waiting on this one? Anyways, now that my dumb moment is done, we're gonna outline these ones. Now, I have still yet to find a pen that actually works for me. I'm gonna give these ones another go because look at this shit. Does this look pigmented to you at all in any way, shape, or form? I'm gonna go with Yule Fashion Brush Pen. What the fuck does a wiener dog look like? Oh my god. I feel like it looks like a fish still. Okay, its nose does not point up. Uh, I'm getting worried about this wiener dog. Wait. Did I fix it? I can't really tell. I think I fixed it though. But judging on the last times, I hoped and prayed that things will work out. Oh my god, what have I started? I'm really starting to run out. It's not a good thing. The sun is fucking setting. We are running out of time, folks. I'm not so sure about this one. I'm going close and personal with the tail. Fight me on this. There. It's done. Okay, now we do the pug. I think I messed up on the ears a little bit. I don't think it'll make that big of a difference though in the end because they're ears. Oh shoot, okay. Those legs are definitely wrong. Yo, what are these stubby little legs though? Okay, I mean these are just outlines at the end of the day. Um, yeah, what, what went wrong here? Okay. Done with that, we're gonna paint all of it in and see what it looks like. Now, I swear to God, if I manage to fuck up and somehow paint outside of the lines, hands will be thrown, paintbrushes will be broken, paint will be spilled. Oh. <laughs> Fun fact, my butt actually clenched during that moment. Gonna be honest, not really happy with how this is looking. Also not really happy with how the head is looking. So I'm gonna see if I can fine tune it a little bit. You know what? I actually think it looks better. Wait, I almost forgot about that. Oh, why am I anal about everything? Okay. That is how it looks in the silhouette. I'm not going crazy, but I think that's a pretty good match. On to the wiener dog. Ooh. And I can definitely say, this still looks like a fish. I don't know what the fuck went wrong here, but I'm just gonna extend this a little bit. Did that really work? Did doing that one thing really make that big of a difference? Uh, ooh, I made a little mistake right here. Two out of three done. <gasps> Oh, why is my brain not thinking? Okay, I'm gonna hold this in place. I'm going to fix whatever this shit was. Let me just double check. Did I get this up? Nope. Not on the sweater yet. Good job for wearing your favorite sweater when you're working with black paint. Oh my god, it still looks normal. Ugh, it's a blessing. Okay, so what I want to do now is let it dry all the way. Then we will begin to put some stars on it. Today we will be using Chinese white. And yes, it is a watercolor, but I've learned that using watercolors straight out of the tube is actually really pigmented. Judge me if you want. I don't fucking care. So we're just gonna dot little things around here and there. We wanna do stars of different sizes so they don't stay, you know, the same. Oh god, it's looking like polka dots. Don't be precise, don't be uniform, just do as many as you can. I'm not really loving how it looks. Now part of me is thinking that I should try the tap tap method. We're gonna take this random sheet of paper I have. Oh god! Oh, tripophobia! 
Yeah. So that's how it works. Before I do that though, I am going to cover the mistakes I made. I want you to know I almost dropped all of this paint on these jeans. Anyways, let's get started. Okay. <gasps> that was a little more chunky than what I wanted. So now that my hand is covered in paint, we're going to make some of these stars stand out more by making them a diamond. Oh my god, it actually looks so cute. I think I want to do three letters right here. So I'm going to go live, laugh, love. Which is very basic, but I stand by it and I know Maya stands by that too. So I'm going to first trace that with pencil because I'm a smart boy. This is one supposed to be live. God damn it. So now all I have to do is trace it with a pen and then we'll be all done. Live. Laugh. Oh god, it's the O. Wait, why does that look fine? What happened here? There we go. I'm done. Oof. Damn. I look ratchet. Yo, I don't know why I thought painting would help all my problems. Because my skin is still not clear. My taxes aren't done. My colleges have not accepted me. My grades are plummeting. Anyways, this is the final product. I'm actually really proud of it for once. Most of the time when I do these projects, they do come out well, but this time I'm genuinely passionate. Like, I am proud of what I did. But if there's any painting videos you want, please let me know in the comments below. I do have a lot ready for next month, so don't worry about that. But it is midnight, and I need to wash my face, so I'm gonna go for now. If you enjoyed, give this video a like, leave a comment down below, or subscribe for more videos every Saturday, Sunday, or Wednesday, Thursdays, I'm not procrastinating. I want you to smack that notification bell. Pow, pow. Uh, buy my merch. And as always, I love you guys, and everything is less than three. Ugh. Finally.